Welcome to Is This What You Want? The home of Matt and Julia. I'm Julia, and across from me is Matt. Listen, I had a whole different intro <laughs> planned, and then um, I fucked it up. First of all, this podcast is not my home. I do not live in this podcast. We I live, live in, in the podcast. I That would be a nightmare if, you're, if every day you lived in a podcast. That, um, that'd be like, remember what I told you just now, that there's an AI that's uh, recreating episodes of Seinfeld, mm-hmm. and it's been going on for like two days straight. Yeah. That's kind of what living in a podcast would be like. Or if you lived in like a successful podcast, your home is a successful podcast, and every five minutes you had to be like, this dinner brought to you by MeUndies, MeUndies.com. You use a promo code DICKLER and get 25% off the next dinner with MeUndies. It would be a nightmare. Um, yeah. But yeah, apologies for that sad little intro. Um, sure. But hi, this is Is This What You Want podcast with Matt and Julia. I am Julia. I'm There's the Matt, Matt part. I'm the Julia part. You're yep. the Matt part. You're Matt. I'm Julia. Good. I'm Julia. You're Matt. And uh, it's a podcast where we just try to figure out what you want. We just talk about our week. We uh, It's uh, like we always say, it's a nice podcast to clean your house to. Yeah. Or, you know, pick your ass to whatever, what do you, whatever you <laughs> want to do. a great podcast to pick your ass to. We're, uh, we're basically two people talking at you while you do something else. I mean, that's what a podcast is. No, sometimes they're teaching you something and you're actively listening or like... Yeah, we're teaching you how to be fucking cool, man. Yeah, this <laughs> is the podcast where we teach you how to be cool. First off, uh, day one, buy a skateboard, drink a beer. Wear a hat and then tip it to the side. <laughs> yeah, and put a cigarette in your ear and then that's day one. Yeah, like not like not in the crevasse of your ear, like in your ear hole. Yeah. Like remember, tr- try to smoke a cigarette with your ear. Remember when the cool guys would put a pack of cigarettes in their uh, t-shirt in their sleeve? t-shirt sleeve? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess that's when back in the day when like t-shirts were tighter. Yeah, and they could handle that. And then you know, rap music came along, and the t-shirts got bigger. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what happened. That, I'll bet uh, old greaser, you know, grease lightning dudes that did that back then were like, man. If I had a purse, I wouldn't have to do this. I'll bet secretly they were like, you know what, greasers, if we were allowed to carry purses, we wouldn't have to wrap our fucking cigarettes in our t-shirt. I think they liked having little square shoulders and they're like, look at me and my square shoulder. Yeah, it's like a badge. It's, It's like it tells everyone you smoke. It also tells everyone that if you rob me, I won't be able to run after you that long. That's what I see. Also, it kind of says that they they probably have a knife on them. Like one of those like flippy knives where they go, well, I think me you know, you're just nuggets. picturing the, the criminal from the Simpsons snake. Yeah. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye. He always had a cigarette in his uh, thing, but he also had a jean vest too. Didn't he? Yeah. I like that guy. It's, it's the funniest criminal voice to me. It's almost like a, like a, like a male Valley girl kind of thing. Like, Oh my God. Like, it is. Oh my God. Yeah. What is it based? Is it James Dean or is it like, He's sloppy looking James Dean. I don't know. Like, I, don't I don't know, know what, what Snake is. is. Cuz every all the characters are based on something in the Simpsons, right? Like Chief Wiggum is a pig. Yeah. Cuz that's the thing with Simpsons. They've been calling police pigs this whole time. Yeah. And it's just like fine. I mean, let's not even get started on the Apu. Listen, there there was a, a lot a lot that the Simpsons did, and uh, it's just a bunch of fucking stereo. Everybody's a stereotype. Do you know it got renewed recently until twenty twenty five or twenty twenty five or twenty twenty six? Like something crazy. Like they're gonna breach like I, don't even, oh, I should bring this up, like four hundred episodes or something. Like there's so many episodes. I I feel like we tried to watch a new one recently, and it just. I mean, I I wonder, I wonder because this is something that we grew up with so obviously we have a very different connection to it but i wonder yeah. if like a person you know we what we, we were like 10 11 when we started watching this yeah and so and it I was wonder, fresh though it was like there's nothing has been li- like this yeah but and i wonder like a 10 or 11 year old right now watching the new episodes if they would enjoy them or if they'd be like what in god's green earth is happening i don't think so they don't have the same pizzazz also also the Simpsons was not cre- that wasn't competing with like the internet back then. That's true. It was just like 
What's the craziest shit you can imagine? Oh, uh, well, they'll tell us. Yeah, these yellow people will do these it. These yellow people will tell us what's funny. They got renewed till 2025. It debuted in 1989. Two years after I was born. Yeah. And, um, and there have been 36 seasons and 1,800 episodes. 1,800. Holy shit. That's wild. And I just keep rewatching seasons two to ten over and over again. Yeah, those are the good ones, man. I'm trying to think what the tipping point was for me. I think remember the Mel Gibson episode where he was like trying to make a movie with Mel Gibson. Yeah, there was some. There was. I was like, this. Okay, this is getting a bit. And then also we watched the one recently where Homer becomes a missionary and goes to an island and builds a church. Oh yeah. And then then like gets in a fight with PBS and you're just it gets like it gets out there. And it's just odd. Well, yeah. You, after a while, you're like, what else do does one talk about? Yeah. When everything's been talked about. You know what else is crazy is that as much as I want to express opinions about The Simpsons, we actually know people that work on it. And I yeah. don't know if they're listening to this. But at the same time, if it's like I was writing for The Simpsons or something, I'm like, I, just, I don't know. They're in a really tough place. I don't know what they can do anymore. Yeah. That's probably the every meeting first of the day, the first meeting of the day at The Simpsons. They're like, I don't know what more we could do. What literally, mo- what more could they do? And again, we do like the episodes that we know and love. We watch them at a different time. So rewatching them, we have that nostalgia and yeah. whatever. So like we're biased, clearly. But oh, speaking about The Simpsons, I guess... No, this won't be my... That was stupid. But it was a stupid moment. Um... I was you ran into Homer Simpson in real life. Yes. If you ran into him in real life, you'd be like, fuck this guy. He's actually the worst. He sucks. <laughs> he, he really sucks. sucks. He's and he a probably selfish stinks. piece of shit. Oh my God, he stinks for sure. I mean, every character is like Homer stinks. Like he physically stinks. So you'd have this B.O. covered. He's like a barnyard animal. Bumbling barnyard animal. And I mean, we're like, yay, it's this guy I love from my childhood. But now if you saw him in public, you'd be like, he stinks and he sucks. Yeah. And he's drunk behind the wheel. There a lot of drunk drunk driving in that show. So much drunk driving. You know yeah. what? I will save my thing for that was stupid. Yeah. But right now, happy chappy hour, everybody. Happy chappy hour. It's the only happy hour out there dedicated to the worst robot movie of all time, Chappie, which Julia still has not seen. Sh- However, Although, we are flying to San Francisco tomorrow. And yes. uh, on the plane, you know me, I will look for the movie Chappie. And if Chappie's playing, that's the rule. I She's have to watch, to watch it. it. And I will post video of her reactions. Um, also, it's an only an hour and a half flight, and if I recall, Chappie is, I think, approaching the two-hour mark. So maybe I'll um, only if if Chappie is on there, I'll only get a piece of Chap. I just googled Chappie length, and thank God, some weird robot penis thing didn't come up. Um, <laughs> it's two hours exactly. No, you'd have to write like Chappie like length and girth. Ew. Ew. There's definitely like a, somebody definitely pornoed out a weird Chappie penis. It's probably so chapped. Yeah. Well, it's it, oil. It, no, it's but because he's chappy. Gears. So he's yeah. chapped. I don't think that was the point. I don't <laughs> think the movie was about a chapped robot. Yeah, it was, it was about a really dry <laughs> robot. He's just smacking his lips, going, ah. Chappy needs water. I am chappy. I'm chopped it. And then he's just on. It's That's a, a sequel, is Chappy to the Ch- search for chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just a robot with really big dry lips. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> choppy. And he's just like in northern Ontario. And he's just the most chapped robot. The most chapped robot. Ew. Ew. Ew I'm just picturing like a robot with like psoriasis and like yeah. flaky skin. Nothing against people with psoriasis. Listen, man, I have like eczema and all sorts of fucking skin problemos. But... A robot with it? Oh, yeah. That's the thing with, with as robots become more a thing on, on the planet, will they develop things like chapped lips? And would you give your chapstick to a robot with chapped lips? The robot, if if it wants a chapstick, it will fucking grab it from you because it's it a definitely robot. Will. It'll yeah. literally rip your unchapped lips off of your face and put your nice lips <laughs> on its body. It peels the lips. <laughs> your lips are better than mine. <laughs> Yes, because I use chapstick. Sheek, and it just takes her lips. Did you see that video of those like robot dogs? It's like robot dogs all acting like police dogs all acting in unison. Yeah. And it's, it's the Boston Dynamics. I think it's those. They're making those robots. 
terrifying. Well, that that we watched that Black Mirror episode, right? Did we watch that together, or was that just me? I don't know. I, Where I, it was the robot dogs took over the planet, and then they I think that was started killing you. people. It was that. I had to style stop watching robot. Black Mirror for a second because I was getting very. It was giving me a lot of anxiety. Well, it, it's also too real. Unfortunately, the writers were like, "What's happening in the world today?" And how? What's the worst version of that? And, and now then the worst version is yeah, we is nigh. Is we, nigh? We, we as people are like, yeah, we'll make that happen. That's what I think about sci-fi too. It's like because a lot of actual real life is inspired by sci-fi so it's like these sci-fi writers have a lot in their hands they got a lot they got a lot of influence they don't even think they realize yeah why don't sci-fi writers like write like nice things that happen because that's not fun i mean i will say i did read a series of books called the Murderbot diaries uh-huh. and it was about a security robot who just basically like murdered people but then wanted to you know turn his life around and and it was nice at the end because he's like you know what i'm done murdering even so you're I'm saying that in this scenario, there he still will murders be, people. There will be a murder bot in real yeah. life, but then like, so people will have to be murdered in order for this fucking robot to learn a lesson. Yeah, good. So you just give give him time. If a if a robot's murdering you, don't freak out. Just be like, I'm gonna give this some time. I'm sure he'll figure it out. Yeah, and maybe t- 10, 30, 40 years, this robot will feel some sort of remorse. That's how long it would take, I think. What are we drinking? We're drinking a Pinot Noir, right? Oh, yeah. We're, I don't know. You opened it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's from Costco. Is no, it? No, this one's from Ralph's, and mm. I, I think it's in like an Oregon Pinot Noir. Usually, I uh, you know, take a picture of the bottle or whatever, but what are you going to do? It's fine. It's good. <laughs> I think it's good. It's a Pinot Noir and it's good. And we, we got it. Here's the thing with Ralph's uh, versus what you get in Canada is they got this thing where you buy six bottles and you get a mega deal on yeah. each bottle. You get 30% off. Yeah, it's huge. So like, yeah, like a $20 bottle will be like $12. Because what they, Ralph's does this thing. So it's, sometimes it's like a $22 bottle and it's like, it's on sale for $16. But if you buy six bottles, like any bottles, then it's an additional 30% off. So it's yeah. just, it, it's really a steal. Um, I don't remember the last time I went to Ralph's and bought one bottle of wine. That's the unfortunate thing. It's like, they really get you with this six bottle thing. Well, we used to do that when we lived like literally walking distance from, from Ralph's in Hollywood. Yeah. But I'm like, it's it's just not, a, it's not practical. Imagine Costco had that. Oh, I wish they had like a, a wine. Their wine is good. It's reasonably priced, but it's not yeah. like, you're not getting, everything else is in bulk except for the wine. I mean, I'm sure you could go in and be like, give me a case. I wonder. We should ask that next time. Unfortunately, we were just there today, so we didn't... Uh, we should have dabbled. Should have asked. Listen, uh, after this, after like Valentine's Day kind yeah. of thing, because our wedding's coming up, I need to like buckle up. Take it easy. And take it easy and get fucking ripped, man. Do you think today was your last co- Costco hot dog for a long time? Yeah, we had a Costco hot dog today, uh, dear listener. Yeah. And first of all, that was that was my first Costco hot dog in a long time. I think it had honestly been like almost a year since my last Costco hot dog. That's too long. Yeah, yeah I definitely had mine, my last couple without you, with or without you. That U2 song is about a guy eating a Costco no, hot I've dog I've witnessed you eat a Costco hot dog in front of me and me going, I have no desire for that. Yeah. And I ate mine today. I it made me feel sick. So there you go. There you go. And I told you, because Sam's Club, we all know Sam's Club. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to Sam's Club, but apparently they have a hot dog and it's like 25 cents cheaper. No, 22 cents cheaper. Did you say it's like 128 as opposed to 150? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and it's everyone's just like, thus begins the hot dog wars of 2023. It's like, first of all, it doesn't need to be cheaper at no point. If if you're actually going seeing a buck 50 and seeing a buck 28 and being like the buck 28 is my kind of deal, then you got big body problems. Can big I, body problems. Big body problems. Uh, can you imagine the hot dog wars are what takes us all down? <laughs> Could be, yeah. Um, like Russia, China. Nope. It's uh, it's the hot dog wars. It's people. It's cheap hot dogs killing us. You know what? Here's my conspiracy theory: the government's trying to make hot dogs cheaper so they can fatten us up and kill us quicker. Well, like we mentioned last episode, a hot dog takes what five minutes off your life. So they're like thirty six. Thirty six minutes. That's what it says. One hot dog takes 36 minutes? Yeah. We didn't specify that last week. Let me look that up. I could be making that up. Good uh, God. <laughs> uh, That's a lot of minutes. Take time off life. Well, I wish I didn't eat that hot dog today. I want those 36 minutes. Yeah, but but that's what we said. It's like other food adds minutes. So you just, I know. So tomorrow I have to eat 36 bananas? 
Okay, wait. Uh, 61 grams of processed meat results in a loss of 27 minutes of healthy life. Healthy life. So they're saying healthy. So it's like, listen, mm. that means you're going to be farting in bed an extra 27 minutes. Either way, I don't want that dirty hot dog. But I feel like, yeah, that... I mean, that's America in general. And just like, here's some fucking shitty food and it's going to kill you and we're not going to provide health care to make you healthier and you're going to die. Yeah. And it sucks. Um, the whole, all the fast food here especially feels like they're daring you to eat it. And then when you do eat it, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe you actually ate that. Yeah. Like remember when KFC had those like chicken buns? It was like oh, yeah. two pieces of chicken and there was no bun. And they're like, this is a the, sandwich. The chicken is the bun and there was like bacon in between or something. Yeah. And then people were like, this is a bit... It even like breached into Canada, and as Canadians, they were like, "I don't even know about this. This, this is it's this all is a bit, bit much. much. It's all a bit much." And we we had sushi today from Costco. Look at us, um, sweet rice. Yeah, I'm like I, I think they're putting sugar in the rice. Massive amounts of sugar in the rice. It tasted really sweet. It was very yeah. odd. I don't think I'll get it there again. It was like a fish not that I think dessert. Costco is like the fucking fine sushi restaurant, but no. they, they make a good product, right? And they sure. they're, they're quite nice looking, these rolls. And I will say as much as I love Costco, they're when they make something and when it's Kirkland, it's I I think it's 50-50 to be honest. Yeah. Because I think they try to cut corners and they're like, we made, we made kombucha too. And you're like, ah, I don't know about this. This tastes yeah. like a tub. Tastes a bit I mean, like an, a raw tub. A lot of kombucha tastes like tub. Yeah. Listen, I feel like this is going to be a short little episode because we have to get up so early tomorrow. Also, I only have 16 minutes left on this SD card. Okay, so <laughs> let's okay, let's let's go fast. So let's get into our first segment. Um, l- let's do. Well, that was stupid. Well, well that, that was, was stupid. stupid. Okay. I'll start. Okay. Okay, this is something stupid. So back to the sim on the Simpsons theme. Um, I did a show last night at Bar Lubitsch, a fun show. Hollywood, West Hollywood, Hollywood. West Hollywood. Right in the mix. And I I looked so cute yesterday. I was wearing my favorite blazer, which is like my, what I like to call my Marge Simpson Chanel moment blazer. So we yes. all know that episode of The Simpsons where Marge gets a discount Chanel suit. That's right. And every time I'm wearing it, everybody's like, oh my God, that reminds me of Marge Simpson. Like everybody's like, Marge Simpson, Marge Simpson. I'm like, I know, right? That's why I bought it. Love it. And so I get on stage and I'm just like, I I was in such a good mood before and I was just like, yes, I'm like, I'm living my Marge Simpson moment. I'm just doing all this and everybody's like, just like staring at me. And I'm like, just, does anybody get that reference? And like, everybody's like, no. Yeah, because they're all young and they think you're chuggy. I'm not chug. Is it chuggy to like the Simpsons? To old, reference old Simpsons for sure. It's chugtastic. It's Chugarama. It's and then Chugapalooza. I was like, really nobody. But then I did. A, I pulled the audience. I'm like, who's under thirty and who's over thirty? There was a lot of over thirties. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe they didn't. Maybe their parents didn't let them watch The Simpsons that hard. Or well, maybe either way, it, so they were a stupid, dumb crowd. Like, yeah, they were dumb. And when I was, I said something. I'm like, really? I'm like, nobody. I'm like, didn't you threaten to kill them? <laughs> uh, no, I threatened to kill one woman. Oh, okay. Um, just for funsies. Because I was, I got into the audience like right off the top of my head. I was like, what? And I was like, does nobody, I'm like, I, The Simpsons, I'm like, I dressed up as groundskeeper Willie for Halloween. And some like TikToker was like, I know who you are. I'm like, yeah, who? He's like, the Irish. I'm like, oh, you just think I'm all of the Irish? And it, again, people were staring. I'm like, what is happening? So I just like went in the audience and this one girl wearing this leather jacket, like straight dark hair where she's like, don't even. I'm like, are you saying? Don't even. I'm like, don't even what? I'm like, talk to you? She's like, yeah. I'm wow. like, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> like, I just went after her. I'm like, what are you going to do? I'm like, kick me in the pussy or something? I'm like, I dare you. I'm like, do it. Kick me hard. Do it. And, and I was freaking everybody out. And I'm like, listen, I'm having fun. You sound like an old drunk sailor down at the dock. I what know. are you going to do? Kick me in the pussy? Get back on your boat. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, you're going to kick me in the pussy over that? Here's the thing. I wasn't drunk. I was just mad. I know. But sometimes you're like an old wet <laughs> sailor. <laughs> anyway, the rest of the set was was fun, but I was, it was just it was odd, and I didn't. It's annoying. I didn't like they were not a whimsical fun crowd. Yeah, and I feel like that's two shows in a row where crowds. I did a show the night before at um, a comedy store, and the first comic, world famous comedy store. God bless, got zero laughs, like not one laugh, and then yeah. the second comic went on and was like literally talking about his chemo like showing his fucking thing on his arm and people weren't even reacting i'm like is everybody 
what's happening it's like z- that's not even gonna make you have a reaction what is going on it's the internet man it's ruining their brains their reaction times they it write is. lol but they don't do it out loud in real life uh, i don't know anyway it was very stupid what happened to you that was stupid matt let me tell you something that's stupid this week it actually happened today i did a total body workout no big deal i do mm-hmm. apple fitness plus I do my little workouts here. I'm like, I'm going to do total body today. Let me tell you, it was mostly squats, and I hate a squat. I've never liked a squat. Every time I go, I do a workout that involves squats. I feel just awful. I feel terrible right now. <laughs> like, I feel like my body has been... Do you know what it feels like? I feel like I activated muscles in my ass and legs, and they're releasing a poison in my body. Yeah, that could be happening. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. And I... And I know tomorrow, I'm like, I know this feeling. I'm like, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to struggle to sit down to use the toilet. Like, it's going to be one of those. You're going to hear moans and groans like I'm an old fucking pilgrim ghost from the bathroom. Yo, getting down on the old toilet. I feel like I haven't worked my lower body like that in a long time. Also, I I was kind of sick the past week. But I remember when I used to take body pump classes at Good Life Fitness in Canada. Yeah, those are intense. These hour long classes. They were so intense. And honestly, like I, I would like fall to the toilet. Like I yeah. couldn't even sit properly. I might just sh- like do a handstand in the shower and shit in the tub. Please don't. I really <laughs> clean the tub so well today. I don't know why that would be the better option to yeah. sitting on the toilet, but at least I don't have to use my legs. <laughs> just that would be the hardest thing. A handstand in the tub and then you're just shitting all over yourself. Well, yeah, it's going to go out of my butt and then slinky down my back and then go <laughs> shink, 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 and then hit the t- back of my head and go thunk, and then g- land on the tub. I think it would just sort of like almost come out like a small volcano erupting but like really slow motion and then just sit there ew <laughs> like a, like a chocolate fondant like a like a malfunctioning chocolate fondue fountain yeah. like it would start coming up and then it would just and then it would just congeal and go Bloop. oh god <laughs> just rest on the old taint or if it was a solid turd it would luge down me like a like a winter bobsled <laughs> Uh, down the curves of my body either way i'm gonna take a handstand shit tomorrow for sure in the shower <laughs> on account of my squats that i'm feeling terrible uh, about. if Damn i you, ever squat. saw you taking a handstand shit yeah i i don't know who i would call i think i'd call like an exorcist or something you'd have to call somebody call the police call the fire department call somebody i don't because I think the last craziest shit I remember is when we first started dating and we went camping that one time on that island. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, just shit in the woods. And I'm like, I've never done this. Like digging a hole. And I felt terrible and crazy. And then you tried to shit in the water. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to aqua loaf. <laughs> and I'm like, this is every- the woman I'm dating. And then everybody came out and started watching me, even though I'd swum out so far and everybody's on the shore just chanting. Aqua loaf. Yeah. Aqua. I'm like, stop it. But I didn't. My what? What I didn't do was bring like a life jacket out, so I couldn't like relax because I was like treading water. There's an invention. Is this what people want? Do you want some sort of a life jacket toilet situation where you can shit comfortably underwater? Because what were you gonna do? Shit through the life jacket? No, no, no. I would just. I would. Well, I wouldn't have it around my like legs or anything, but just no. something to, or even like a paddleboard or something to rest off of. So like. The, my I was relaxed enough to release the, the Kraken. <laughs> what about this? Is The device is like a toilet seat thing, but it has like a capsule underneath it that's full of air. So you're kind of floating. So your butthole is not in water, but it's in this little air pocket underwater. So you're sitting in water. You shit in the capsule. And then you press a button and it goes stink. And it, and it, it closes up and disconnects and it's biodegradable and then it sinks. I'd rather just shit in the water. Yeah. <laughs> or you could just do a handstand on the shore and shit in the water. <laughs> Have it slinky down your back and then fall back into the lake. <laughs> oh, it's kind of good that we're not filming this podcast because I'm picturing you like trying to animate that clip and it's just disgusting. Yeah. Thank God we, we had to do this uh, lickety split. So unfortunately we're not doing a green screen, but I'm posting more clips next week of this. Uh, we also have five minutes left. Oh my gosh. Part. Okay. Let's um, do, um, well, uh, well, that, that was, was warm fuzzy. and fuzzy. Warm and fuzzy. 
<laughs> it's where we talk about something nice that happened this week. Okay, so really quickly. Also yesterday, this is what was so weird about yesterday. So yesterday I had my improv class um, and I've been taking ground leagues. This is our second last class or, uh, that was, was happening. And I had the fucking time of my life. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Like all the games we were playing, all the scenes we were doing, like, and everybody was in a good mood and everybody was goofy. Like I felt goofy. I, I was like, am, is, am I on drugs? Like I, I haven't felt like a high like that without drugs or alcohol or like some sort of mind altering thing in so long. I was so happy. We were having so much fun. People were crying, laughing. It was That's just crazy. such That's how it a should be. nice, fun time. And we're finally getting all like more comfortable with each other. And I was just like, damn, this is nice. It was just fucking nice. It made me feel warm and fuzzy. And then I had dinner after with Rebecca Kohler, which was really nice. And then I did the show, which was nice, but it was just like a, you know, I was just like, well, on when you're on a such high, a high yeah. and then you want everything just to keep going, but it's like, oh yeah, stand up kind of can suck sometimes. That's yeah. the worst. And part it didn't it. even suck. That's the thing. But I was just so like, yes, I'm excited about my Simpsons jacket. I'm going to talk about this because that makes me happy and it's going right. to make other people happy. And then they're just like, yeah, okay, whatever. And I'm like, no, nah. you fuckers. Anyway, what was warm and fuzzy for you, Matt? Um, this is one I thought of. I, uh, so obviously everyone this week is talking about episode three of Last of Us. Oh my God. And if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it at all, but it is crazy. It's it is so good. Very well done. And um, I unfortunately took a 10 milligram edible right before because I thought it was going to be like a spooky, actiony, goofy, not goofy, but like intense yeah. time. And I'm like, I'll, by the time the episode's over, because they're about an hour 45 minutes an hour I was like I will be nice and high and ready to watch Below Deck or something unfortunately this was like an hour and a half episode yeah it was like a little movie one of the greatest episodes of television and most intense I've ever seen in my entire life it was so crazy and it's obviously very emotional I was like bawling my eyes out we both were bawling our I, eyes out I was tr silently crying because and I'm very good at it because I cry yeah. a lot um, so I, I started crying and like I was literally leaking out of every hole in my head like eyes ears nose everything and like and I couldn't breathe so I just put, had my mouth up and I was just going yeah. <laughs> because I was so full of snot and I was just trying to be cold cold quiet um, and then I just hear you go it's too much <laughs> yeah it bubbled out of me I went my god, my god, my god and then you're like I can't I can't do this. And then I'm just like, <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <laughs> but what made me feel warm and fuzzy about it is we were having a of an emotional time there. Also, the cry did feel good. I yeah, definitely needed some sort cathartic. of cry. But then Shanj activated immediately, almost like she's activating right now. And she came over. She cr like commando crawled over to me and started licking my face because she didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah. She just, knew that I was crying. I was like, oh, she recognizes tears. Yeah, the wail that came out of you. Yeah, and she was so like lovey-dovey, kissy-kissy, and it was just like, it just made me feel nice. I'm like, well, this dog, you know, genuinely loves both of us. She I mean, knew you were going to be fine. Well, yeah, she's seen me cry a lot. Also, the first time when we first got her, I like had this fucking full mental breakdown. I was crying so much. And I was like, Shanj, please, please come over here. And she was just staring at me, and I'm like, please, I need you. And then she just started barking at me, and I'm like, why are you barking? <laughs> was that day one when we first Got her. That wasn't day one, but it was like, it was like, you know, a, oh, a, I a month that. or two. Yeah, you in. were in bed. You were like, I need you. And she's like, because ah. <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> she thought I was like playing or something. Yeah. I'm like, what? Anyway, that's a fucking episode. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> it. We, we are recording this super lickety split because we're going to San Francisco tomorrow for San Francisco Sketch Fest. Yeah. Um, and our friend Meg is taking care of little Shan. So we're getting the house set up, everything in order. And uh, it's going to be a rainy time in San Francisco. I'm sure, gonna, oh, I'm sure yeah. that's what's going to be stupid about San Francisco. Literally next week. right now, like the week leading up, sun, sun, sun. The three days were there, rain, rain, rain. And then we leave and it's sun, sun, sun. Yeah. But you know, so. whatever. Them's the them's the grapes, you know what them's I mean? So uh, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on Instagram, Julia Comedy, and on Facebook, Julia Comedian. Um, and that's that. What about you, Matt? Let's see. Matt O'Brien on Instagram and Comedian Matt O'Brien on Facebook pages, which I'm really pushing. I'm at almost 20,000 followers, which I'm you pretty are. sure. And, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, Facebook pages is mine too. You know. I'm, I mean, not to like, you know put you in the fucking shadows but i'm at like forty one thousand. yeah but apparently that's how you sell tickets these days so if you're listening and you're the in the industry i'm looking at you christina waukesha um apparently facebook pages is the one to to be on 
Yeah. Multiple people. I've heard from multiple people being like, how do I sell tickets? It's f- through Facebook pages. I need it's to, like, I need to start, uh, cause I'm posting my reels, but I'm not actually like active on it enough and I'm not yeah. like interacting with people and anyway i'm learning how to do it and it's just like i've just come to terms with it where i'm like you know what this is part of my fucking business i'll i'll do it i'll just i'll do, do it, it. And that's the lesson for this week not listener. what we want but it's what the people want so yeah. thanks for listening we love you so much and we'll see you soon Bye. Bye. What you want with matt and julia is this what you want with matt and julia Shalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal